Here's my thought about the video blog. So this is episode five, and the first four days of doing the video blog seemed like a piece of cake. Um, I woke up early, I read through some content, listened to a podcast some days, and I got inspired. I began thinking about what I wanted to talk about. And then day five hit. I woke up a little bit late, and I read through a book, uh, not a whole book, that'd be impressive, but I, I read through a piece of a book and got me thinking about some things, and then wasn't quite feeling it. I began looking at uh, my uh, RSS reader for other things, and I, I found some things I was like, hey, yeah, I could talk about that. And, and then the day hit, and I had to read my emails, and I had to do all the stuff that you have to do being a business owner. And I think that's actually the hardest part about doing a video blog is, is one, being able to be consistent and set aside the time for it and do it in the midst of doing other things. And that's what I'd, what I'd imagine most people that are thinking of starting a video blog and actually do it will encounter and struggle with, at least in the beginning. So that's my first thought. The, the second thought is this, the fact that I wasn't feeling it, feeling it this morning about whatever the topic was gonna be that I would talk about, I didn't have anything profound or insightful to talk about is probably the biggest barrier when it comes to either launching a podcast, a blog, a video program, or, or even just tweeting, is that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to have something incredibly important to say and profound and valuable and unique and all of that. But if you think about it, what are the shows that have the highest ratings on TV? Not to say we want to compare ourselves to them, uh, if we're holding ourselves to that standard of, of value and important information and yada, 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 but it's reality TV. It's mindless shit of people arguing with one another, which calls into question that maybe part of it is just entertaining people. I think that's part of the reason why uh, people enjoy watching my Snapchats is that I don't pontificate about the mysteries of the universe. I don't uh, put myself in a social media influencer space where I start talking about, you know, uh, you know, why you need to be on Pinterest tomorrow, things like that, is I just have fun with it. And I think having fun is something that we may miss as we try to create more and more content and position ourselves and build a brand for ourselves. So this morning, I wasn't able to get the job done. And I hit this afternoon, and I still wasn't really feeling that thing that was going to be incredible. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's just part of it. Because the beginning blogs of this video blog, they're gonna suck. Maybe they don't suck right now, but by comparison, I'm gonna look back on them and say, you know, back then, I used to do these shitty videos where I was walking around and talking about how hard it is to video blog. Just like right now, I look back on some of my old blog posts and I think, man, I was a really crappy writer back then. I think this is actually just part of the process. And it's this part of the process that I think scares people the most. And it's the part that I'm gonna try and push through is to stay consistent, to keep putting out video blog content, to develop my video voice in the same way that I developed my written blog voice by doing it over and over and putting in the work. Just like even if you go to the gym every morning and you only lift the weights a few times, at least you're going every day. And eventually you're gonna get better and better at it. It's gonna be easier and easier and you'll lift more weights or you lift it heavier or you'll run a little bit longer. I think it's just about getting into a rhythm. Just getting used to it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not phoning it in, uh, but I'm also not trying to pretend that this is going to be the most valuable vlog that'll change your life. For me, this is just part of the process. And my hope is that opening you up to it and showing it to you that there's days where you're not gonna feel it, you gotta you got kind of do it anyway. Maybe that's just part of it and hopefully it inspires somebody to keep pushing through it. Maybe put out something shitty so you can put out something incredible the next day. It's the end of this, man. Keep following me, please, I swear, it's all gonna get better. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, check me out on Snapchat, check me out on Instagram, and keep loving one another. See ya.